and welcome to the Board Game Back Cave after our extended vacation from the internet. And we are back, <laughs> stronger than ever though, with a one of our reviews for a top 100 board game geek games of all time. It is through the ages. Um, but we're trying something new this week. Uh, well, first let's introduce ourselves. I'm Chris. I'm Gil. Hey everybody, I'm Mike. And our new segment that we're going to attach to all of these videos is we're going to show you what's in the box. So uh, what's in the we have box? our expert gamer over here. He's going to tell us what's in the box. All righty, what's in the box? Through the ages, it is a small-ish box. Kind of heavy, though, so they've definitely taken advantage of all the space in there. You've got your rule book, nicely laid out. Not too too long. It's split up into three different sections like a beginner, um, intermediate, and uh, an expert, something like that. You've got your uh, main board, trifold board. You've got your player cards. There's one card for all the different, all players. There's four players available, so four different player cards in there. And actually, those are going to be your player reference cards, and then you have your four. Player be your boards, I guess. Player boards, yeah. where you're going to be able to keep track of what you've got going on and everything. And then you've got your cards for the different ages. You've got cards uh, from ages 1, 2, and 3. And a whole bunch of little chips. Does it come cubes. with all those plastic bags? It does not come with all the plastic bags, no. It comes with, uh, I think, these two bags. Uh, and then the the tray in the uh, in the box itself holds the uh, the cards pretty well, but I'm one of those guys that likes to bag everything, so that's extra. The the little bags are extra, but otherwise it comes with the tray where all the cards can sit in there, separated, and then you've got your chits and your cubes, and that is it. So there's a lot in the little box, uh, and it's all uh, laid out pretty well. All right, so there's what's in the box. Uh, now we're going to break it down by our four traditional categories of components, theme, gameplay, and replayability. And why don't we start with Mr. Viking over here for components. Components. Uh, I didn't see anything that was cool or revolutionary. In this game, matter of fact, all, all my comments are going to be probably negative <laughs> when it comes to components. The cards, spoiler alert, yeah, the cards are the small cards. Mm -hmm. I, we know. I detest small cards in a game. <laughs> it can, I mean, I know, makes, I know, there's a price, huge. yeah, <laughs> but uh, it cannot eat into the profit that much to to have full size cards in a game. I'm just saying, you know, small cards are not doing it. And uh, the chits, while they are unremarkable, they're just little bitty <laughs> colored doohickeys. They give you a million of them that you get to put on your character board, which I also detest. There's nothing <laughs> like having a character board with 40, with 40 markers on it. I don't like that. Yeah. Because you hit your board yeah, or whatever. You have cats, it's over. No, mm -hmm. there's got to be a simpler way to break down their component usage mm -hmm. in this game. Yeah. Maybe, they, is that a Euro thing or yeah. whatever, yes. where they use a ton yes. of chips? Yes. I don't like it. It's like they have to use the whole tree when they cut the tree down. <laughs> I guess so. All the wooden pieces. So not only were the cards small, con in my book, not only were there a million chips to keep up with, second con, the artwork was uninspiring, and I didn't like the board. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what you really like. I'd like no, nothing component-wise in this game. For a game that is, you said, ranked in the top five? I think it's, yeah. It's crazy it's talk in my book. Yeah. The components are not making it a top five in my book at all. I would rank the components an uninspiring six, in my opinion. Better than I thought you were going to. Yeah, 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 me too. Um, yeah uh, this is, this definitely, this ranking in the BGG top 100 Definitely show you that there are a lot of Euro gamers that are voting on these things, because uh, us Americans, are we spoiled or something? We are. We have the American <laughs> yeah. trash. We like colors, vibrant colors, like beautiful art. Um, it's a decent game, as component wise. I mean, it gives you 
plenty. You know, I like lots of components. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's lots of cards and lots of little wooden. But you like circles. you should like lots of cool components. Yeah, just components for the sake of components. Yeah. Like Eclipse, at least, had tons of those different cubes and whatever, but they were all different. Yeah. And they, yeah. they had yeah. like, uh, you kind of knew what they were by looking at them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because I like the components in Eclipse, but once again, whenever you get a character board and you get 50 markers on there. And it's like, and they start with 50 markers, not like yeah. you build yeah. this. Yeah, and then you're taking yeah. them off slow. So it yeah. takes you 30 minutes to set up the board. <laughs> not actually 30, but more like 10 or 15. To get everything yeah, lined up yeah. to and play. If you're colorblind, I don't know, I'm not colorblind, but I'm thinking for colorblind people, it might be difficult. I would think so. Because they're all the same except for yeah. the color on some of them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's standard Euro fare. It's wooden components with card, little bitty cards, which I don't mind the little cards because, like, Imperial Assault and Star Wars uh, X Wing mm -hmm. uses them very well. The small size didn't bother me as much as the the artwork was kind of bleh. yeah uninspired yeah like I mean this guy this, this, the guy who made this is like one of the greatest game board builders of all time he's got to surely know some people well now that's the point okay I don't mind small cards so much like mass and mystics some yeah. of their cards are small really well done cool oh, yeah. nice artwork Flow well. good card stuff mm -hmm. if you're gonna give a small card and it looks crappy man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's no need for that. Yeah, it's it, it's just not my taste for the artwork. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually I'm going five. Yeah, you are because I'm thinking I was generous with a six. <laughs> this is right middle of the road art. I mean, component wise, it's it's tons of components which brought it up to a five. Yeah, but it's the uh, nothing Generic, crazy. There's nothing no, special. To yeah, it. there's not. Anything special. Maybe I'm just having a bad week. No, mm -hmm. no, I think no so. you're not because mm -hmm. I'm going to jump in, start with my portion, and they're right on the money. This is dull. You have two main colors of cards light gray and dark gray. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, mind blown. <laughs> I mean, come on, yeah. It, this is uh, this is a largely card-driven game, so why don't you give adults full-size cards to, to yeah. handle to with their large hands? Yeah. You know, because you know this had to come. I don't know. I didn't buy this back. This had to come in a huge box. Yeah, yeah. The original. Yeah. Yeah. So but it didn't. Maybe the cards were big back then. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, hope, hopefully, for it to get that higher rating, you know. But again, so yeah, on the on the pros. Side of the scale, the you have quantity. You got a ton of stuff. Lots of cards. Yeah. And that's it on the pro side of the scale. I'm sorry. The artwork is very dull, very plain. Does not uh, put you in the mind of, you don't look of at, antiquity or anything like that. You don't stare like at the artwork. When I see a new game yeah. and good art, I, I like stare at it and like look mm -hmm. at it really deeply. These cards, you just like, whoop. Yep. Well, yep. you're going to think the other game we played of yours that is... Uh, uh, Civil Wonders. Wonders. Seven Wonders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those cards, full really color, I mean, yeah. full size, and cool, cool yeah. artwork. Yeah. You know, right. broke them right. up. Five yeah. or six different co color for each little mm -hmm. niche in the game. Yeah. That's yeah. how you do cards in a game exactly. like this. Right. You know? right, yeah. And the, the boards that, that are basically just point tracks, uh, incredibly dull. Yeah. I, I don't know... I'm not sure what the Euro gamer is looking for, but apparently it is not color and it is not vibrance and it is not. Let's just all be strategy, just, and they don't yeah. want the frills or anything. Yeah, Absolutely, and that's yeah. that. That's a huge part of it. But I, at the same, you know, what would it hurt to be, you know, to kind of pretty that stuff up a little bit, or or just put something in yeah. there to give it some kind of a flavor? It was, it felt very like stock photos, yeah. uh, just. Didn't like it. So, components for me is a five. And uh, and that's lucky to get a five, I'll be honest. It gives you what you need to play the game, but they could have done... Uh, so much more. So, yeah, they could have done a much better job. Yep. All right, so that leads us to theme. Yeah, it's another civilization <laughs> management resource building mm -hmm. game. 
we have never seen anything like this. It's like Christmas morning. I was all flutter. It is exactly like dozens of other games we played, but without any interesting hook whatsoever. Nothing I haven't seen dozens of times before. Right. Nothing to make it unique. It's it's like they took all the boring aspects of all the Civ building games and they just said good enough for them, good enough for us. We're not going to improve anything. So, uh I'm going to go uh, I'm going to go 5. It was purely it was average. Nothing at all special. Did it well, I guess. Well, not even well. It it it, <laughs> it did it. You know, I'm not going to say well because well would you would assume I enjoyed it. Nah. Totally average. Five. Uh, this is one of my favorite themes. I like uh, Civ building yeah. games. Civilization I, is one of my favorite games of yeah. all time. And I like resource computer. management when it's cool. But this was neither. If you're going to tackle a game that already has Civilization, Sid Meier's Civilization on the market, mm-hmm. yeah. and you're going to tackle something that it's already been done so well, you better step up to the plate. Yeah. And uh, it's like they were like trying to, oh, well, dropping, they're picking up the crumbs or something yeah. from Civilization, Sid Meier's. And yeah, even Seven Wonders, Good which game. was a short I, game. I like a, Civ. It, or I like Seven Wonders. I thought it brought the theme out even yeah. better than this game did. And this yeah. game is huge yeah. compared to that and time-consuming. So even Eclipse, Eclipse felt like I was Civ building. Um, this game was, well, I don't know. We didn't finish it. It's that, <laughs> it was that. The only thing this game had that Seven Wonders did not have was individual leaders for your your group. You know, yeah. you could play Caesar or you could play Aristotle. Well, you didn't even or, really play them, though. You just well, had but, them on your team. Yeah, you had them as your leader, and they had individual abilities. Yeah. But that's the only thing I, I saw that, like, Seven Wonders didn't have and did better, you know. so. And I'm thinking, you know, as a Euro game... Theme. <laughs> I've heard it as a joke before that the theme for Euro games just has to be like, you know, something drudging, something yeah. horrible, and yeah. pitiful mm-hmm. life or whatever, like yeah. farming out, you know, mm-hmm. survival. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this fits the bill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, if if you just love strategy and you don't care, and I think the the draw of this game is for people who like to try to keep track of eighty seven different things yeah. at once. Yeah. And if that's your kind of game, you're going to love this game. Yeah. Unfortunately, I better have more art and theme and beauty and whatever with it keep me interested that long. So, um, no, I'm going to go, uh, because I love Civilization games, a six. Generous. Yeah, theme here is, is um, it fits right into, well, the game came out about 10 years ago, so that's part of it. And about that time is when a lot of, it, of those other, uh, you know, um, Seven Wonders and Nations and uh, Through the Age, or this is Through the Ages, uh, Age of Empires and uh, Civilization, all that stuff kind of came out around that time, sort of. So maybe it, when it came out, the theme was a little bit newish and a little bit novel, maybe, but this is me trying to give it a benefit of the doubt. I found it to be incredibly tedious, and I never. When, you know, you're talking about the theme. I never felt like I was really building a civilization. I just felt like I was trying to, I was an accountant trying to keep up with exactly. the actual ships. Exactly. That's the That's word of the day. Yep, yep. I, can, I get that. <laughs> Accounting. Yep. So, yeah, you know, as they've pretty well covered all the ground, they've beat it into the ground by now. If you haven't picked up on it, if you really love very dull, almost nothing happens strategy games that take about three hours Mm. then jump all over it but if you want a little bit of interaction with your other uh, game players and you want a little spark every now and then of something kind of exciting this is not going to give it to you so for those reasons i give this theme a five you know i have walked out of one movie in my life And I have stopped playing one board game in my life yeah. in the middle of it. Well, yeah. you know, after a couple of hours. A couple of hours, yeah. I walked out on Ace Ventura 2. Oh. 
Really? Yeah, I think you might want to have a second look at that one. Well, wow. <laughs> I was, it was a, Why did you even buy a ticket for that? You know? It looked well, good. It the, the reviews are all right. It was know, a girl that wanted to see it. So, uh, and, and she also wanted to leave, and I did not fight her. I was like, <laughs> let's go. But the, the game, it was like Ace Ventura 2 of games. What kind of women are you going out with? Yeah, let's go watch Ace Ventura 2. X Y. <laughs> So that'll tell you everything. Mm. Let's go. Let's let's skip all this. Let's get on some some happy subject. Let's, let's go to gameplay. Game. Gameplay. Gameplay is boring. <laughs> I mean, uninspired. You're right. It's like accounting. It's like math. It's yeah. it's like it's work a, it's accounting instead of a board game. game. I did not enjoy the gameplay. What there was not one redeeming quality of gameplay I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I guess it is it's serviceable, and you know the mechanics are fine. I'm sure there's nothing screwed up about it or broken about it. It's just boring. Mm -hmm. So gameplay, I'm gonna go like three. Woo wee! I mean, I can't think of games out of all the games we've probably played and reviewed. Maybe like one or two. I enjoy playing less than this <laughs> game. I don't think I've ever gone below five in anything, but the gameplay, like, yeah, horrible, think, horrible. <laughs> you know, maybe four. Well, I mean, that's given it. Which is it? Being generous. Three, five. <laughs> but horrible gameplay. Uninspired and boring. Yeah, it's uh, accounting the board game. Yeah. I shouldn't rename it. And if, I mean... I don't like those kind of games necessarily. I like it along with something else. When it's, but I didn't feel like I was ever playing a game. I felt like I was never catching up on learning how to play it because there's so many. You need the board to tell you how to move everything. Uh, so, <laughs> game plays. I'll go with a four. And you know the thing <laughs> is, we enjoy resource management games. We <clears throat> enjoy building civilization games. <clears throat> And we enjoy strategy games, high strategy, low strategy, nothing about, you know, it's like, it was just, un I mean, did nothing well at I agree. all. I agree. Yeah, I, uh, I was the one that brought this one. Uh, I knew it was highly ranked and I was excited to try to get it on the table. I think we tried a few different times and never got around to it. So when we finally got to it, I was excited my excitement dissipated really fast. This game starts out slow and never picks up speed. No. Every round I thought, okay, well this will be the round where the, the gameplay will start to kind of take off. And um, no, not so much. And then the next round, you know, I'm thinking, all right, well, I, maybe I need to d dive more into the strategy part of this. And I'm looking at the other players and I'm trying to figure out, okay, how can I block them the best while doing the best for me? And even really trying to immerse myself into it that way, I was yawning. I was tapping my fingers on the table. It's dull. It is a dull game that goes on way too long, way, way too long for there never to be any buildup. I understand if you've got to have a few opening rounds, kind of get things going, and then the game kind of takes hold and gets going. That never happened. Even whenever you start improving stuff, like, you know, you improve buildings or manufacturing or religion or stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times whenever you improve something, you start rolling in the game, you get a little excited. You know, yeah. like, oh, look yeah. how good I'm doing. Right. Mm, nothing. No, no. It <laughs> just doesn't... Uh, that little spark that I kept thinking was going to be on the very next roll or the very next flip of the card or whatever, it never, it never showed up. So for me, this this was torturous, and I don't think I was the one that suggested maybe we just call it quits. But I sure didn't argue when somebody yeah. brought it up. I think it was a group consensus. Yeah, After like three hours, we just sort of looked at each other and said, "We're supposed to be having fun, right?" Yeah. So uh, I'm going to give it, I guess i got to give it an official rating. I will give it, I'm not afraid, I'll give it a 3. 3.0. Really? 3.0. admit, after three hours, we were not only like, let's put it away. It's like, burn the box, <laughs> wash your hands before you eat. But some of it may still be on your skin. Yeah, I'm usually like willing to try another game again sometime 
in the future. Well, this, maybe this is not the right time. Nah, mm -hmm. Re this replay one I Replayability right here. Yeah, let's talk about replayability. Okay. Replayability. Uh, I would rather have a prostate exam. <laughs> I will never With play. With board game. Yeah, I will, I will never play this game again. Uh, and the good thing about it is I don't see either one of y'all bringing it up saying let's play this game again. So replayability for this, I would never give any game a zero. I mean, gun to my head, I would play this game. Or if it's the only thing you got, but yeah, look, yeah. we got all this. Yeah. <laughs> Desert Island, this is the only thing that washes on shore. I would give it another try. Yeah. But replayability for me, one. Wow. I mean, I'm never going to play this game again. <laughs> so why beat around the bush? Yeah. Anything other than one would indicate that I might be talked into it. Never. Right. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I'm not ever going to play this game again unless... There's some extenuating circumstance. Um, I can't imagine what it would be. I, I can't mean, either, unless they come up with a kick-ass expansion that changes everything <laughs> about the game, you know. <laughs> so um, I'm never sold a board game. <laughs> but but you might give this one away for free, or might you know? Well, you know, I'm always willing to try it with a different crowd. Sometimes I don't think that would make. But a I difference. don't think it will make a huge difference. I think it's. No, I can't do it. Uh, I'm gonna go three just because. Uh, you can't do I can't one. I can't go one. I can. <laughs> I like board games too much. A uh, three, yeah, that um, that sounds about right. I, I, for me to play this again, someone else is gonna <clears throat> have to bring it up, and it's gonna have to be with maybe two or three other people that love it. And then I'll sit down and I'll try to figure out what they love about it, why it's ranked so highly. And what am I missing? You know, that I'm willing to give it another chance, but only because it's ranked so highly. I keep, I'm thinking, there, you know, I, 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 there's got to be something I didn't get or I wasn't seeing. Uh, so I would give it another chance, but only if somebody else wanted to and only if the other people had played it a lot so that I could at least see if maybe I could pick up something from it. So, And if you get some liquor in you, oh, well, yeah. that you're can help. Gonna, you're going to need something because it is dull. Yeah. It is a dull game. So uh, I'll give it a three for replayability. You're going to have to really twist my arm, and you're going to have to you're going to have to convince me that you love him. it. You have to bring it. You have to feed him. <laughs> bring food. Mm -hmm. M&M's. Peanut M&M's. Yeah. Those yeah. always work. It's in a deep Bribery. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I'm going to say, before you even point up there, lowest game we've ever ranked. It's got to be. No doubt. I mean, I mean we never had a one before. So. Yeah. Which, or a three. Or maybe a, the I highest never... ranked game on BGG and our lowest yeah. ranked. You know, biggest disparity, man. I did not sure. see how this was so, for. I, I don't At all. I don't either. Don't get it. So let's let the back computer figure it up and put the score right Beep. there. <laughs> and we'll put... If you stick around after the credits, you'll see what we ranked everything so far on the list. Yep. And thanks for watching, and you tune in next week, and we'll have something else, hopefully, that we like a little bit better. Or we would, it, we would have to be. Yeah. It has to be. <laughs> Some no-pee-knuckle. Mm. See you next week. See ya. Thanks for watching.